Good morning. Have you ever felt haunted by your past? Haunted by past thoughts and feelings? Have you ever had negative feelings about another person? Those negative feelings about another person are coming because of the negative feelings about yourself. I was asked recently by a YouTube subscriber what I meant by thoughts are projections of an identified past. So I want to respond to that question today, but I also want to bring you a couple small secrets, practical things that you can do to begin to sever those negative emotions and thoughts that you've been experiencing. The Buddha said, when you look at a flower, you don't see a self. You can see the sun and the rain, and you can see the earth and the flower, but you do not see a self. That flower that is here today and gone tomorrow isn't worried about yesterday. It's not projecting towards the non-existent future or afraid of the frost that may come overnight. Instead, it is effortlessly manifesting, blooming in the sunlight. <sighs> it's so easy for the flower. The reason why it doesn't feel easy at times for you is because you've become identified by your yesterday or your past. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hold on. Before you do anything else or think anything else, I know that what we've been taught in our culture, in, our, in this day and age, is that you are your past, that you are responsible for your actions, that you are what you make of your life, and you are directly tied to your past, the thoughts you have about it, the actions you take, and you are directly linked to the consequences of those actions. I get it. But would you like to be able to let go of those things that have haunted you? For instance, when you experience anxiety or fear, the reason why you might be having those negative experiences is because in your past, you had this negative moment. And the mind that is identifying by the story. Now stop right here and recognize you are not the story. There's no truth in the story that your mind is creating. There's a link above. I encourage you to check it out if you haven't already. But your mind is creating the story. And it's believing that this is real. And it's not just the story, but what you think of the story that's real. Somebody else might be experiencing that same story, but they're creating a different one entirely. Same movie, different perception of it. But your mind is identified by the story, and so what's happening is it's it's uh, beginning to build this little self, and it's I, it goes like this. This is what your mind does. It says, I had this shitty experience. It's awful. It's horrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up all these walls around this little self that I believe that I am to try to protect me. And those walls have all these sensors on it. And so you might be driving down the road now 20 years later and, and some music starts playing and it triggers a, a response of anxiety. The reason why is because those walls that are built around this little identified self have all these sensors. And those sensors respond to music and smells and sounds. And it can be, come from any number of places. And all of a sudden, ah, you find yourself gripped with anxiety. You don't even know why. It's, tri it's a triggered response because of an identified self. You are not that self any longer. There is grace right here in this moment, right now, 
for you to be free of anxiety and for you to be free of the thoughts that are projections of that identified self. You are not that five-year-old little girl anymore or that a 10 year old little boy anymore. You, you are not yesterday. You're not found there. You are living in this brand new moment. It is a perfect moment, but your mind is still directly attached to, linked to, tied to your past. And you're literally, what most people are doing is literally carrying around their past like a bunch of luggage, like a bunch of baggage. The older they get, the heavier it becomes. And so for some people, it becomes so unbearable that they commit suicide. It becomes so unbearable that they just live in complete and utter misery. Some people find a little bit of relief through religious things or the practice of meditation. And all of that's wonderful. But you can actually sever it entirely. You can be disconnected from your past and from the thoughts that are flowing from that identified past. So Jesus said this. He said, I am life. And as he is, so are you. This Christ experience, this Kainos new reality, is a now experience of life. Life is always found now. So there is this divine flowing that is happening within the form, the energetic form that you're manifesting in. And there's this life that is bubbling up out of your belly, will flow rivers of life, bubbling up. And flowing forth from within you. And so it is a current, ever-present unfolding of ex divine expression. That is how you were supposed to live. How you've been living up to this point, probably, is identified as the past. And the thoughts that are projections of that past are flowing forth from within you. If you can recognize right now. I mean, I've said this many times before I go down that path. I've said this many times. Until you see God within, you'll never see God within another. And as long as you're seeing a bad person in another, it's because you still see the potential or the bad person within yourself. Jesus said the kingdom of God is within you. It's now. It's found right here. You have never been that bad person. You just you're hiding because you're linked to a, a non-existent past found in Adam, found in this false you. The way we begin to sever that past is first of all, yes, by realizing it's not who you are. But oftentimes the mind, the intellect is going, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm not that, but I don't feel like I'm not that. I feel like I am that. The moment you realize that you're not that, you'll stop being angry at another. You can't blame another person for any of the shit that you're going through. You can't say, you made me mad. Or, man, you know what? This just really frustrates me that you would say this. Because you realize frustration is a result of your own thinking. Anger is a result of your own thinking. It's the fruit of your own thinking. It has nothing to do with another person. And that, if anything, you should be thanking them for giving you the opportunity to realize that you are not these things. In that moment, they are your guru. Your worst enemy could be your guru in that moment. Because you are not that. So to begin to let go of that, the first thing you need to do is start observing, learning to observe your thoughts. Learning to observe your thoughts without judgment. The thoughts that are going through your mind, that are producing all these feelings, both positive or negative feelings, are not who you are. They're not you. And if you can step back and just start seeing those thoughts, and when they go through your mind, it doesn't matter what feelings they produce, just go, oh, okay, number one, I'm not those thoughts. And number two, I can look at them. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing good or bad about the thought. So I don't have to have good or bad feelings associated with that thought. Now, this might take some practice. It takes some consistent focus and practice on your part to mentally rise beyond those thoughts. But as the more that you learn to observe those thoughts, the less identified you will be in your past. Now, ultimately, I will say this. There is grace here in this moment for you to realize right now that that is not you. You still might have some mind work to do, mindfulness work. But there's grace right now for you to realize that your past is not who you are. You are not who you think you are. 
And you can rise beyond those anxious feelings. You can rise beyond the depression. You can rise beyond it. So when I say thoughts are a projection of an identified past, they're coming from one of two places. Your thoughts are either an effortless, divine uh, thing that's uh, rising up in, in, in your energetic form, or your thoughts are projections of, non, of the past, of the identified past. When your thoughts are projections of the identified past, you will go on repeating your past and repeating those patterns of existence. When your thoughts are divine manifestations in this energetic form, then every day is brand new, and you can literally recognize that you've forgotten the former things, and behold, there's a brand new thing happening right now. I love you so much. I want for you to taste and experience the freedom of being alive in the here and the now. I hope this helps you. I hope this response might bring some liberty to your existence. I love you so much. Remember, guys, the more you awaken, the more you play. Have an absolutely fabulous day. Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and do me a favor. Subscribe to our video, like and comment whatever questions you have so that I can respond to those questions in future videos. Hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. Remember, you are loved and valued.